I worked with a, a mum who was going through child protection. Well, her, her children were going through child protection. She has got pre long history of mental health problems and she's got multiple children who are in care. These, our children are going to be in long-term foster care and she's aware of that and she accepts that. It was a difficult case to work on because things were very raw um, very extremely sensitive. One of the children's placements, foster placements, had broken down and this meant that the local authority were going back to court to change the placement. The, the mum that I worked with, she disagreed with the local authority and she felt that that placement could work, just needed a little bit of additional support but she has got no confidence in social services whatsoever and she, she physically cannot speak to them without her anxiety levels getting so high she actually has physical symptoms. So the local authority referred her to uh, advocacy to see if that can help her go through the process. And when I worked with her as an advocate, I was the... I was the, the goal between I liaised with the professionals on her behalf. I kept her fully involved of what was happening, of what other professionals were saying, what assessments were taking place, so she knew what those assessments were, um, any kind of communication that was fed to me from the social worker, I fed back to the mum. But these, because she has a lot of children in care, that meant there was a lot of meetings so we worked with the social worker to kind of try and condense that and we made an agreement with the IRO, the independent reviewing officer, that rather than the mum attending all of the meetings, the IRO would meet with her and condense them all in one so that she could get, so she could still be involved, she could still have her views and wishes minuted in these really important meetings because decisions are made within these meetings. Um, and that met my client's needs better and also reduced the risk of a decline in her mental health. We went to court, she did attend, and she said to me that without an advocate, she wouldn't even have attended co a court. Together, we wrote a statement. She didn't have any legal representation because she didn't meet the criteria for legal aid. So I had to make it very clear with her that I was there as a supportive, supportive mechanism and I was not there under any legal um, identity. I couldn't offer any legal information. I couldn't any, offer any legal advice. But if she had any questions, I could support her to find the right person to get the answers that she needs. She was she was offered by the judge to put a statement in, and she said she said at the beginning no. But then we talked together, and she was saying, "I wish I could do it. I really want to do it, but I just haven't got the confidence." So we used that time when we sat down, and we tried to put something together. And she was like, I really, I really want to be able to get a statement in because it was so important to her that it was documented in the court papers that she tried everything she could to get the right placement for her child because she was aware that that child can access those court papers when they're an adult. She wanted to make sure that it was documented she'd done everything she could. So we, we put the statement together we actually went for a walk, we sat on the quayside outside and we'd done that statement together. I typed it up for her and then I took it to her, to her the next day so she could have a look at the draft, remi reminding her this is your statement, I've typed it but this is your statement, we need to make sure you're happy with everything that's in it. There was a few changes she wanted to make which so I went back to the office, typed it all up again and brought it to her so she had a paper copy in front of her. She didn't like reading things off phones and computers. So she was happy with it and we submitted it and she said she would never even have known how to do it because submitting a, do a statement to court has to be done on an official template and an official document. So she said she would never even have known how to have done that. So we got the statement in, the judge read her statement and the judge acknowledged her statement in court. Sat beside her in court through the whole process. I made sure she had water, I made sure she had handkerchiefs because it was it some of the content was was really quite disturbing for her to listen to. Um and she was able to speak to the, the judge herself. The judge asked a few questions. Um she knew that I was there to talk on her behalf if she couldn't, but she was able to. 
and she said that that was because she had me sitting beside her, otherwise she would have been on her own. So the local authority had their barrister, the foster uh, carer had their barrister, she had no one. So because she had me, she felt confident that she could speak and she was able to speak to the judge. This was something that she didn't even think she could do. The, the outcome of the court didn't go the way that the mum wanted to, but the important thing here is that she she knows that she done everything she could. She attended the court the majority of the time. She done everything in her power to keep that placement going. So she said that that meant a lot to her. That meant a lot in the fact that she wasn't going to dwell over this afterwards. She wasn't going to go back and say, I wish I'd done this, I wish I said that. She could actually go away feeling confident in herself that she'd done whatever she could. So this really prevented a decline in her mental health. You know, her mental health can, can be so troublesome to her and can cause such a, an issue that she can, she's been admitted to hospital in the past because of it. We recognised during the hearing that our mental health was taking a dip. So I supported her to contact secondary mental health services and she got a CPN allocated for that time. Just as a sec, just as an additional support for her. Um, and so she had me to support her through the court, but then she had a mental health professional there supporting her with her mental health. And again, without having an advocate, she would not have had that additional support through the hearing. So, like I say, although the outcome wasn't what the mum wanted, the fact that she was able to be involved in this whole process made all the difference to her. She still sees her children, she's got regular contact with them, so she feels like she's done everything she can.